Front panel controls lack any masking or filtering capabilities, which is sometimes useful to have. Let's for example look at the string control where we want to mask the keyboard input. In the control context menu, I have checked limit to single line, update value while typing and unchecked enable wrapping. To check the keys pressed, I have added an event structure on the block diagram for the key down and key repeat events. The accepted ASCII subvi checks if a character is a capital letter, A to Z, a small letter or a space or control code. These codes include backspace, arrow keys and such like. Anything else will be discarded. If the user pressed enter or return, the while loop will exit. Note that here I keep the string control inside the event structure. Running this VI, I can type letters but nothing else. Arrow keys and others work fine and pressing return, the program finishes as expected. There are things that can be improved. When not running the VI, I can type as many non-letter characters I want and they get passed along if not erased. I also want to hide the block diagram code that is specific to the string control. To do this, I want to use an X control. Going to the file menu and pressing new, I can create a new one. This is an X control that I have already created for this purpose. I have added two VIs that are not included by default. By right clicking on the X control and choosing new ability, I have added the uninit VI. I have also selected new property to add the read only enter event property VI. The X control has string type which I have set in the data type def. In the state type def, I have added a user event control. It is used to signal an event when I press return or enter in the X control. Here in the init VI is where this user event is created. and it is destroyed here in the uninit vi. The enter event read vi is used for reading the user event. And now to the facade vi which contains the actual behavior of the control. On the front panel is the string control, which has the same settings as before. I have added an event to the X control event structure for handling the key down and key repeat events just as before, but note that this time the string control resides outside of the event structure. Why it must be this way, I don't know but the string control won't return the correct value otherwise. The case structure for handling key presses is still here, but when enter or return are pressed, I generate my user event to signal the parent VI that operation should continue. I must also tell the X control that data was changed. In my example, I have an event structure with dynamic event terminals, inside of which I put my X control. Right clicking on the X control, choosing create and property node, I have my user event property at the bottom. With the event structure set up for this event, I can now go to the front panel. Key presses will now be masked in edit mode.
as well as when running. And pressing return will give me this result as before.